So tonight we're going to talk about the power of three. And um, I want you guys to understand like really why this is something we should be duplicating in our business. Because I know a lot of times we talk about the power of three, but we don't really like I think really understand it. Um, and so it's really, really vital to not only just you understand it, but be able to pass it on to your team so that they can understand it and duplicate it. Because that's what really, really causes explosive growth. And so um, if you were not aware, there was a Leslie Zan um, meeting in Houston this weekend, and a lot of us went. And so I'm going to incorporate a lot of her stuff that she talked about um, in to this power of three and somebody unmuted themselves okay um so ah. all right so let's go ahead and get started so we're going to talk a little bit about your timing and your skill sets because i believe these need to be in place before you can effectively grasp the power of three so when we're talking about right now april one of the things that we need to understand is like this is the prime season for our business not just because it's springtime and summer's coming but because there's not a lot of holidays so people are not too strapped for cash right now um kids are in school so usually parents have more time to um, be attentive to you. You have more time to work your business because it's not summer vacations, the craziness of like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And our convention is coming up at the end of June. And so this is like a power packed time that we're in right now. And if we realize that and convey that to our teams, it's gonna really help our businesses as well. So what I want you guys to think about is like right now, it's the time to plan where you want to be by convention by the end of June. Um, and, and not just like dream and write it on paper and write down your goals, but take the action it takes to get there. Because it can be one thing to be like, I want to be diamond by convention or I want to walk the stage as an emerald. Um, those are great goals and great things but if you don't have the action you're not going to get there and it starts now it starts right now so i want you to think about realistically where do you want to be by convention do you want to be where you're at right now um because you shouldn't you shouldn't want to be satisfied with the rank you're at right now you should be striving to be that next place whether you're just starting you should be going for silver gold if you're silver you should strive to be gold senior gold you want to strive for that next rank don't be satisfied in this complacent zone because that's when we stop momentum and we don't want to do that so I want you to really think about we have 90 days pretty much well, a little less than that. Um, we have, um, you know, until mid-June, until our convention, where is it that you want to be? What do you want to be at convention? Do you want to be um, a silver ambassador? Do you want to be um, the same place that you are? What about your team? What are you going to do to help them? So um, the faster we start, the more likely we're going to see our people's belief and their retention. What that means is it starts with us right now. Like it doesn't rely on your team. It doesn't, I don't want to hear like, well, I want to be gold, but you know, I'm really hoping that my team, it, no, it's about you implementing these things and modeling it for your team. Okay. You want them to duplicate you. So if you're frustrated, take a look back and think like, when's the last time you personally sponsored an ambassador? When was the last time you went silver? Um, when was the last time you went to an opportunity meeting? We have to look at this as what we're modeling to our team. So the faster we're going, that is going to exponentially grow, which is what the power of three is designed to do. 
Um, those of you that don't know, um, I taught high school math, and so when you look at like an exponential curve, it, it's so powerful, and that's what this business is designed for. It's not linear growth. It's not I grow and then I flat plateau and then I grow. It's exponential, like steep curve, and that's what the power of three is gonna do. So I want you to pretend that today is the first day that you've enrolled, whether that's true or not. You could have been an ambassador for the past two and a half years. Um, it doesn't matter. Get in your mindset that today is your first day. You are going to set the pace for your team. Um, are you waiting for them to set the pace for you? In other words, like, are you relying on your team to get you to the next rank, or are you setting the pace for your team and working together? It starts with you, and even if you've had a great start and then you kind of plateaued, it's okay, because today is a new day, and today you can say, all right, if I'm a brand new ambassador, let's go silver. What would I do to go silver? I'm going to go silver in seven days, and I want my team to go silver in seven days too. So I'm going to do those activities alongside them and implement the power of three so that they can model and duplicate. So one of the things I want you to get out of your head right now is when you're approaching somebody and talking to somebody, do not have the um, mindset of what if this doesn't work or what if this compensation plan doesn't work for them. We know our products work. We know our compensation plan is amazing. Look at the record-breaking number of people that ranked to Emerald, Sapphire, and Diamond last month. It was crazy. It was like promotion after promotion after promotion. So it's not just you know one person being successful, but it really is up to you to decide whether or not you're going to work it or set the pace for your business. Um, there was a saying that Leslie Zan said this weekend that slow is a pace. Like we often think of pace as fast pace, um, and it is, but we can also set a slow pace. And if we're setting a slow pace, then guess what? Our team is going to duplicate that slow pace. And so we cannot expect our team to do this power of three if we are not doing it ourselves either. So, why do we go silver and promote the power of three? Why is this vital to our teams to not only for us to do, but for them to duplicate? Because if you've been an ambassador for a little while, you've probably heard like the power of three, go silver. And I think if we understand the potential behind it, then we're going to be like, oh my gosh, like mind blown. Why did I not do this earlier? So here is a graphic, and I'm going to move all of our beautiful little faces um, over. Um, here is a graphic that I recreated, but this, def this um, demonstrates the power of three. So let's say you signed just three people, and each one of those three people signed three people, and the, each one of those three signed three people, and so on, just seven levels deep. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, my team goes past level 14. So we're just talking level seven here, not like you're receiving points on all these people. And this is just three people. Now, obviously, um, are every ambassador you're going to sign do this? No, and that's why we say continue building wide. Um, but can you imagine the power if you found three people that would duplicate it and they found three people that would duplicate it? So if you found these three people and you duplicate it, and, and you're, you're modeling, you yourself is doing this as well, you would have 4,893 points. 
If you're thinking, well, that's a lot of points, what does that mean? Well, you would be a diamond ambassador with Plexus. You would be driving your black Plexus Lexus. You would be going to Hawaii first class. You would be partaking in the emerald, sapphire, and diamond pool. And you would probably make as much money in one month as most people make in a year in corporate America. So if you can fathom that, that is powerful. That is life changing money, not just for you, but imagine your dream board that you may have or the people that you can bless. Um, imagine that. And, and it starts with us. It starts with ourselves. So we want to be able to find our three people that we can teach and train to duplicate this. If you have three people on your team, you have a start. Then you find three more. You keep trying to duplicate this and, and teach and train your team to duplicate this. So here's why it works. When you're duplicating the power of three and you're signing three and so on and so on, you could see how those points quickly added up. They were that exponential curve. This is what builds massive momentum, not just for you. Like, I know that we would love to think like, wow, I'm a diamond ambassador. But can you imagine your team? Your level ones are going to be almost diamond ambassadors. And if they keep doing it, they will be diamond ambassadors. Like, this is not about you. Like, I cannot wait until I have the leaders on my team that are working this in Hawaii with me. Like, that will be the best place ever. Um, it's going to build belief in our amazing to the um, – Com compensation plan. Our compensation plan, if you've been in any network marketing business before, you know our compensation plan is like the best compensation plan. So as you're duplicating, you're signing people, hello, you're going to get a Friday check all the time. Like, you're not going to just get one and then go a couple weeks and not get one. Like, you're going to start getting those checks every single Friday. And so is your team. Like, that is awesome. What else? Why else does this work? Well, when you sign somebody, you need to get them plugged in and start going. That was one of the things we learned this weekend is why are we waiting Till you get results. We know our products work. We know our compensation plan is awesome. We can learn while we're earning. You can have results later. Like if you're not going to be losing 20 pounds overnight. We know that. But you can start sharing testimonials from your friends, from your upline that um, they have had results. You can share non-scale victories if you're doing it for weight loss. I slept better. When I first started Plexus, I did not wait for my products to come in. I posted right away. And I went silver in four days because I was so excited. And I posted simple stuff like, I slept so great last night. As a new mom who was nursing her nine-month-old baby at the time, that was worth a million dollars and I had friends that's what they needed to hear they didn't care if I lost weight that's what they needed um, I had shared stories about using the body cream on a sunburn things like that we don't need to wait for results we need to get our new ambassadors plugged in and getting started having them feel equipped in their Plexus business. So, one of the things, and I'm going to move my little face over here. One of the things that I worked on this weekend was coming up with a new action plan for our new people. And this is a preview, the document I'm going to put on our team page um, probably by Wednesday. I'm finalizing the last few videos. Um, but when you're a new ambassador, 
when you get them plugged in, it's very key and vital to get them started right away. Don't puke plexus on them and send them a million documents or a long list of checklists like what to do. You as their sponsor should, and you do not have to implement this exact thing. Like if you and your team, you can tweak this, whatever. Um, but this is what I'm doing for my team and I feel like it's going to really revolutionize our business because it's simple. So in the first 24 to 48 hours, the first two days that somebody signs up, let's say that um, I sign somebody up, okay, let's say I sign them up tonight. I'm gonna message them um, on you know Facebook or on text and just say like, I'm so excited that you signed up. Um, let's um, meet via three-way with my sponsor, Kim, um, who's my direct upline, those of you that didn't know that, and I want to get on a three-way call with you and just go over some fundamentals and get you started in your business. This way, you are um, scheduling a time to follow up for one. You're showing support that you are going to be there and that your upline is going to be there. This new person is going to feel safe that you're not just throwing them out there. They're not going to feel overwhelmed, but you as their new leader can gauge, are they really in it for the business? Are they a wholesale buyer? Um, do they kind of want to get started? Because let's be honest, if you have 20 ambassadors, are all 20 like business building ambassadors or are they wholesale ambassadors or do they sort of work the job and not sort of work it. So you want to get a feel as to their pace. Are they really excited and want to get started? Um, one of the things we talked about this weekend was the fast start gold and how when I signed up, I didn't even know that was an option. I did not know you could do that. And so I would have probably tried to do that in, when I signed up, but I didn't know. And new people, do they know what it means to go silver? Do they know that when you sign three people that they're getting paid 25 to $50 for each person? Do they know that when they go silver, they're getting $100? Um, you have to really make sure you break that down to them. And that's something you can talk about on the three-way call with your new ambassador. Okay, so once you um, call them, and then um, I know some of you have heard of Sarah Taylor's Silver and Seven, and I know some of you have done it on our team because I recreated the videos. So after you get them plugged in, if they're interested in working the business even a little bit, get them plugged into Silver and Seven. And so what I've done on our document is um, put the links to every video for those seven videos on there. Um, and if you are a, a leader on your team and you want to recreate those, go for it because your ambassador is going to relate to you. Um, and, and it breaks down, if you haven't seen them yet, it breaks down um, everything we do into simple little daily tasks to get them started. When I first started, we did seven days of plexus. Um, so, and that's a, I think it's still on the team page, but it's a file. And, and it's not overwhelming. These are simple. Day one, I want you to think about um, people you know, just 30 seconds, write down their names. Okay, so then I want you to, you know, message your top three to five people and tell them how excited you are. These are things that are going to get them um, started with income producing activity. It's going to show them that. This Plexus business is not hard. It's not something you need to spend 40 hours a week doing. But when you're doing it, you need to do it 100%. And so it's going to really show them how to manage this business and how to get it going, which is something that is going to start that power of three because your goal is to get them to silver in that one week. and. If they do that, ask them, hey, who do you know? Do you know, you know, 15 other people? Have them duplicate this with their three people. That is the power of three, my friends, going silver. So after you do that, 
Um, there are these videos that Jen Hawkins, she created these fabulous um, slides um, called Plexus 101 and Plexus 201. And um, I'm also recreating these videos. And these are really great for a new ambassador. They, they break down every aspect of this business into these 101 videos. For example, Plexus 101 um, week two is all about every single Plexus product, what it's used for, um, how to take it, how to recommend it. And so these can be very helpful for somebody that is new, but you want to space these out. So I would recommend these next three weeks. You, you as their sponsor are going to be checking in with your new ambassador. Don't just send them this checklist. Remember, this is about relationships. So you might need to um, check in with your people and say, how's it going? You know, how can I help you? How was, um, how did your income producing activity go today? Who did you talk to? Um, did you have any questions about this Plexus 101 video? Make sure you watch it first so you know what it's about. Um, but these are really great videos, and I recommend sending them since it's over three weeks. There's eight videos. Maybe sending one on a Monday, waiting till Wednesday, sending another one. You know, sending just two a week is fine. Um, but that way they're not super overwhelmed, but you're getting them plugged in. You're getting them to see, I can do this. You want to build their belief and their commitment that you're not, having to read through a bazillion pieces of paper. So let's talk about why, why do this? I mean, all of this sounds great and you know, hey, that's awesome, let's do it, but why? Why should we do the power of three? Why should we simplify this and you know, reach out to our people? Well, by not helping people take action by kind of saying, okay, okay, you know, I understand. We'll wait for you to have results. Um, by not encouraging them to go silver, by not kind of pushing them out of their comfort zone. Like, who do you know? Um, you're allowing them to quit before they start. You're allowing them to make their excuses valid. and Think about your own journey. When you started, some of you are gold, senior gold, and up, up that when you signed up, you may not have wanted to work that business from day one, but you had somebody that was encouraging you along the way. And once you saw with your own eyes, wow, like this Plexus comp plan is pretty cool. Like I had somebody message me like, I got $25 from Plexus. What is that for? And I was like, you signed somebody up. And so I think we need to really explain that to people because they don't understand that. And we're allowing them to quit before they start. But we have to remember that it is vital for our team to see us duplicating the power of three. We cannot expect our team to duplicate something we're not doing ourselves. I see all the time team on team pages where they're challenging their team to, like, do the power of three to sign three ambassadors, but they themselves are not signing anybody. You need to do the um, same thing you're encouraging your team. Every time I do the silver and seven or any challenge, I am doing those same activities myself. Um, we can't expect our team to go to opportunity events if we're not going. We have got to set that pace for our team, whether we realize it or not, if you have one person even on your team, they are looking up to you and watching you. So remember, fast and slow are both duplicatable. You cannot expect your team to be a fast paced team if you are setting a slow paced environment and culture. So find a way. If you want a fast-paced team, you want to do the power of three, you will make a way. You will find how to make time. You do not have to do this 
40 hours a week. When I started, I had 10 minutes, 10, I'm being serious. And it was at nine o'clock at night on the floor in the hallway between my kids' bedrooms. But it was important to me because I saw the opportunity before me. I had to make a way to make this work. I was going to spend the time now to be able to buy it back later. I would not be able to stay at home this year had I not sacrificed those 10 minutes. What Netflix shows are you watching that you could give up that 30 minutes? I don't see Netflix paying anybody to watch them. So find a way. If something's important to you, I want you to take a step back and, and kind of analyze how can I break through this? If you're feeling stuck, think about the, the time you're actively spending. I'm not talking about scrolling through Facebook. I'm talking about like really working your business. Um, find a way to make it happen. So if you're struggling right now, I don't want you to feel defeated at all. This is not meant for you to be like, man, crap, I suck. No, I want you to take a step back. You are a brand new ambassador right now. Today is day one or tomorrow since it's late in some places. What would you do if this was your first day? Could you go silver in seven? What would you be doing if you were a brand new ambassador? Think about how excited you are and go for it. You're going to set the tone for your team. You're going to create that belief within them and they're going to follow you. And I want you to think about what's really stopping you, really. Like we can make excuses all day long. You know, I could say, well, I homeschool my five kids. I don't have time. I and mean, that's a val very valid excuse, but it is just an excuse. The truth is I can find pockets in my day to work my Plexus business. So think about this quote. I'm going to move myself out of the way. Never quit. If you stumble, get back up. What happened yesterday no longer matters. If you say, well, you know, I didn't do a good job. Doesn't matter. It's over. It doesn't matter. Today is a new day. It's another day, so get back on track. Move closer to your dreams and goals. You can do it, and I want you to take that to heart. You can do it. Do not let any stop you because you guys are just such an amazing group of people I know so many of you personally and I am just like you are a diamond in the making you can do it don't let those excuses those negative thoughts tell you that you can't and so um, I just wanted to just encourage you and pass that along to you guys tonight so that you can duplicate with your own teams. And I'll put the um, little training manual on there on Wednesday. I've got to upload the last four videos um, to the Plexus 101 and then I'll post that for you guys to do and I'll make a little video on like how to do that. So I just want to thank you guys for joining us tonight and um, just thank you so much and um, we will see you next Sunday, same time and same channel. Bye, guys.